how does the city of Chicago water bill for $70 turn into a $10,000 tab from one bill to the next? It's not the first time the CBS2 investigators have uncovered an inexplicable water bill like this as part of our Getting Hose reporting. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into the problem that one Chicago landlord has been trying to fix for a full year. It was nothing out of the ordinary. $50 usually per bill until I got uh, the big one. This is the big one that landlord Jonathan Cezox is talking about. In May of last year, he was emailed a $9,912 bill for his single family home that he rents out to a mom and her young daughter. I actually thought it was a phishing scam, so I contacted the water department. No, it wasn't a scam. The bill was actually from the city, claiming his tenant and her daughter used nearly 1 million gallons of water that billing cycle. It doesn't make sense. He says he called over and over and he couldn't get a straight answer about whether a city crew ever checked the meter, but his usage was back to normal by the next bill. After months of no answers, he had a state senator reach out on his behalf. The Citizens Utility Board helped him file an informal complaint, but a full year later, he continues to rack up a $250 late fee on every single bill. We found this just laying out on the ground in front of his house, which, like the amount owed on his water bill, isn't where it should be. When a bill goes from $50 to $10,000, why is there not a system set up to alert the user before it gets to that amount? Jonathan makes a good point. We couldn't find any information about a high usage alert online, and we reached out to the water department to see if any program like that exists. The District of Columbia Water and Sewer Authority, on the other hand, offers these kinds of alerts to their customers. A spokesperson tells me they've had great feedback from customers who've gotten an alert about higher than normal usage long before the massive bill. Jonathan says he loved that option. Because I'm getting hosed and I know I'm not alone. And I think the more people that reach out to you, the more the water company will start to pay attention that there's something wrong. Megan Hickey for the CBS2 Investigators. The water department responded by saying that houses in two flats are automatically notified if their water meter is running continuously, but this guy says he never received a notification. The Department of Finance confirms they will be reaching out to assist him regarding his bill.